Hey, hey everybody, it's me, the, the Tomato Man, and I'm here to talk about stuff. Um, this is an extremely rushed and unscripted video just to get out. Um, I just want to talk about some of my, the best video game boss fight ever. It's only going to be, I can only talk up one because it's a, a, a video game boss fight. And we're going to talk about the best one. And, you know, for me personally, I think the best video game boss fight is, um, that, that weird pyramid thing in Super Mario 64, um, I, it, it is an extremely fun boss fight, you know, just, yeah, just, just running around and but punching it in the eyeballs just to get that power star. And Mario 64 is a fun game and it's full of fun challenges, but uh, Mario 64 has always had some, some cool boss fights, you know, the, the, the four of them that the game has. But like, um, this is, this is clearly the best one, it's an extremely easy one though, but, um, he is the best boss fight of all time, and, you know, you know, I, I, I actually think, but, the, the really best boss fight is, um, is, uh, Plant 42 in, uh, Resident Evil 1, because he's, he's a really cool looking plant, but, as Jill, you can, as long as you got, um, the, the, the flame rounds for your rocket launcher, you can basically kill him in, like, a couple hits, and then Barry comes to save you, so, um, you only really get a fun boss fight unless you're playing as Chris, but no, I plays Chris, uh, you always play as Jill. Who, who plays Chris in Resident Evil? But, um, yeah, um, speaking of Resident Evil, uh, in the, the Resident Evil remake, uh, Mother Neptune, not really a boss fight, but it's, it's a cool little fight because, um, there's a time limit going down as Mother Neptune's about to smash into the place and fill it up with water, you have to hurry up and get the, get the shields up so the glass doesn't break, and then you drain out all the water, and then you just got, you, you just got a little shark land there. It's fun. Um, playing, there was also Plant 43 in Resident Evil 2, but like, you never really fought it, it was just there, it just stood around all the time. But, um, yeah, speaking of Resident Evil, um, the, the weird alligator thing in Resident Evil 4 is also a really cool and fun boss fight. And, cause like, you're just sitting there on your boat, you're, you're going out, you don't know what's under there, and all of a sudden this giant fishy thing just comes out and tries to kill you, and you can't use your gun, so you're, you're just throwing hooks at it. It's, it's a really fun and creative boss fight, and I definitely recommend that, that boss fight. It's a really fun boss fight, and I, 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 I recommend it. Yeah, but, you know, I think, I think the best boss fight of all time is, a uh, is a Dr. Octopus at the end of Spider-Man 2, and, uh, he is an extremely hard boss fight, and takes a long time to kill, and if you're me, it took you, like, uh, about a week just to beat that game, because he was extremely hard, and sucked, but once you, once you finally beat him, you are, you feel so satisfied and rewarded, he, rewarded, it, it's so, it, it's so nice just to, like, when you play a game that's extremely hard, it's so nice to just, just kill a boss that, that causes you so much pain and stress. But, uh, yeah, it's, it was fun, and, you know, but actually, I think, you know, the, um, the best video game boss fight was Psycho Mantis in Metal Gear Solid. He was, he was an extremely interesting one. He knew you were in a game, you had to, what, what he did was he could read your mind, basically, and by that, um, you could have hit him if your controller was plugged into the first controller port because he was like reading the movements you were about to do. So in order to really beat him, you had to plug the controller into the second port. And um, he, he's just a cool boss fight. He, he goes invisible, he throws stuff at you, you have to, you have to dodge it all. It's, it's a really cool boss, and yeah, I, I love that fight. It's, it's fun and creative. You know, speaking of Metal Gear, um, there's also the Gray Fox in Metal Gear Solid. He's also a really cool boss fight. And you, you, you can't use your weapons, it's a fist-to-fist -fist combat, which proves how manly you are, because Snake ain't no pussy, he's gonna do whatever he wants, but like, yeah, it's a, a really fun boss fight. It's really fun, I, I enjoyed it a lot, but yeah, you know, and also, speaking of Metal Gear Solid, Solid, um, Metal Gear Rex at the end of Metal Gear Solid, it's also a really cool boss fight, he is, oh, oh my throat, he is a, he is an awesome boss, he's running around, just, uh, having to shoot him with the, with your, um, stinger, it, it's a fun boss, um, liquid snakes up in there, and everything that, um, you know, I can just go on and on all day about Metal Gear Solid, because every boss in Metal Gear Solid is great, like, Revolver Ocelot, he just running in a big circle, trying to catch him and shoot him, because he, he, he's a, he's a little pussy, and he can't, he keeps running away, because he sucks, and his bullets ricochet off the walls, so you gotta, you gotta go around and try to stop him, but, um, yeah, a really, really fun boss fight, um, it's, it's so fun, um, but you know, I think really the best video game boss fight of all time is a uh, best video game boss fight of all time is a uh, is a uh, the snowboarding scene in Final Fantasy VII because you know that that's a hard boss to beat. Just going down all those slides, trying to 
trying to master snowboarding because you suck at the game. You, you just gotta admit that you suck at Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7 if you can't beat the, the snowboarding level, even though that game's extremely easy, but like, you know, the, the snowboarding level is the hardest part in the game and is extremely hard to beat, but you know, um, it, it's a hard boss fight, but a really satis satisfying one when they beat it, I think they actually made like a a game for the snowboarding scene. I, I, I gotta look that up. Did they actually do that? Oh, I gotta... I gotta find that. I gotta find that. I think that's an actual thing. FF7 Snow Snowboard. Yeah, it's an actual it's an actual thing. They they made a whole game of just the snowboarding part in Final Fantasy 7. Wow. That that shows how how good that one boss was that it gets its own he gets his own game that the snowboarding level is such a hard boss that he gets his own game. That's that proves how rad um that that snowboarding level was. It's one of the hardest levels in the game. But yeah, cool. But you know, I think personally the best the best video game boss fight of all time was um was Kenny in The Walking Dead when you know you got to get him to stop the train because his son's turned into a zombie. So you, you do what you convince him. But if you don't if you don't talk sense into him like a legit good human being, you get you two in the fight and he's really easy though. You just gotta press the buttons, but. It, it is personally the best video game boss fight for how emotional it is, and um, the all the stuff that happened before leading to it is a sad part. And then um, once you beat some sense into him, getting to stop the train, you guys um, you guys uh take you take uh son into the woods, and well, his wife does, and um, depending on what you chose, well, either way, if Kenny's there or not, you his wife kills herself because she couldn't bring herself to. Put down her son because she's turned into a zombie. So, uh, so then you're left. Kenny's just left having to put his son out of his own misery. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. I don't like this video anymore. This sucks. Uh, I'm gonna go lay down. Thanks for watching. Bye.